Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier this week, I let you know that Microsoft was finalizing the next optional update, which was now in final preview in the release preview channel for 25H2, which is actually going to be our feature update, KB5065789. It included 19 new features, bug fixes, and a lot more. I'll leave the video linked. Now, just to let you know that it seems that Microsoft, once again, is patching the patches. Basically rolling out bug fixes for the said update. Now, the update remains the same. It's still 5065789. It will just change the um, point release on the build. And Microsoft has added the following fixes. So in effect, Microsoft now is even stabilizing 25H2 a lot more, which is nice to see. Now, first of all, Microsoft says that this update addresses an issue that affects playback of protected content in certain Blu-ray, DVD, and digital TV apps, which could occur after installing KV5064081 and that update has caused quite a couple of headaches for a lot of users and this was just another one so that's also been fixed because users were reporting that they couldn't um, play protected content on those different platforms so nice to see that that's going to be addressed and has been addressed and the next is a performance improvement where Microsoft says it's added support for certificate revocation list Partitioning in Windows Certificate Authority. So that's basically taking place under the hood and is a performance boost for the OS. The next is a fix for the battery where the battery icon in the taskbar may not display a charging state even though your PC is charging. And then we've got a fix rolling out for settings. So if we head to settings system storage. Microsoft says that settings may crash when attempting to access drive information under the settings system storage page. This also impacts, Microsoft says, if we head to our file explorer, trying to launch these pages from file explorer drive properties. So that's also nice to see. And then the final fix is for Windows Update, where some insiders were seeing error 0x8007002 when attempting to install the build, which is the build uh, in release preview channel. So one, two, three, four, five fixes rolling out. Nice to see, although Microsoft is patching the patches again, that our feature update for 25H2, which will also be rolling out to 24H2 because 25H2 is built on top of 24H2 as I have posted previously. I'll leave a video regarding that um, link down below and in the end screen. So nice to see that Microsoft is at least attempting to try and stabilize things before that feature update rolls out to the general public. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.